Riverside Valleys, Las Vegas. Fun fact, this is the original MGM Grand, so there's a lot of history on this property. The rooms are remodeled, and I got a resort executive king suite. I can't wait to show you that. I'm going to check out the pool for sure, and apparently this place has the best burger in Vegas. Let's check this place out. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Valleys, Las Vegas. All right, inside the room at Bally's. Let's get to this room rundown. I'm trying to make these as brief as possible. Of course you wanna see the room in Vegas. The room is really important, but there's so much more than the room. So I'm gonna do a light dive on this newly remodeled Resort Executive King Suite. That's right, remodeled Resort Executive King Suite. If you wanna know all the details, if you want a full-blown room tour, uh, check out my channel or check the link in the description below. But let's get right to it. TV right there. Uh, desk area right there. I'm loving the red accents that are peppered throughout this room, especially that red leather chair that is ultra cool. A balcony that is closed off, but you do have a peekaboo view of the pool, so you kind of keep your eye on the action out there. Uh, the bed and the tub, which are my two favorite things in any hotel room, are the focal points of this room, and I'm really liking this open floor plan. This tub is really regal looking. Again, it's the centerpiece of the bathroom, and it separates the his and the hers. This shower is ultra cool. This is the same shower setup that they had at Caesars and I raved about it. Uh, it's dual access. So you can kind of meet in the middle here if you want, or you can basically enter the shower from either part of the room. That is really cool. Again, great feng shui in this room. And last but not least, there is a dedicated toilet room. Uh, great for privacy, great for class. I always like that when it's closed off. Just a touch of elegance. And you can find that here at Bally's. So that is it for my initial room rundown here at Bally's. If you want to know more about this resort executive suite, again, go ahead and check out my channel. But for right now, we got to get into it. We got to insert ourselves into the action. We got to eat. We got to drink. We got to have some fun. We got to go to the pool. And who knows what else. All right, first official day here at Bally's. Uh, the trip thus far has been low key, but that's been by design. Don't worry, we're gonna ramp things up. Uh, dinner last night, I had Mon Ami Gabi. Now here's a newsflash for you. If you're gonna stay at Bally's, and if you like to dine the way I do, if you like my style of dining, you're definitely gonna have to go off campus, and here's why. They do have two decent restaurants here. One is Nobu, so that's not happening. You know how I feel about Nobu. And then the second one is BLT Steak, and it looks pretty nice. It looked rather high-end, but it's closed. So I was definitely forced to go off campus, but that's okay 
because Paris is right next door. It's literally like a two minute walk and it's connected to this property. So it's an easy stroll. Mon Ami Gabi was really cool. It definitely had the aura of a French cafe slash restaurant. It's situated right on the Vegas Strip. So the people watching is amazing. And plus you have spectacular views of the Bellagio Fountains, which are right across the street. The outdoor spots seem to be the most coveted. I, however, chose the inside at the bar, of course, and the experience was just as good to me. I must tell you this about Mon Ami Gabi. It was by far the most trendy and happening place on this entire property. That includes Paris and Ballets. So if you're looking for the most popular place to eat at Paris, it's not Gordon Ramsay Steak and it's not Monterono's. It's Mon Ami Gabi. Tonight I'm off to Burger Brazier. It's a French burger place. So it's a French twist on American classic. I'm really excited to see what that's gonna be like. And tomorrow is gonna be the biggest and best day. I'm saving all of my energy for the end of the trip. It's gonna start with the pool. I'm gonna explore the entire property and see what else Bally's has to offer. All right, uh, let's talk burgers and let's talk the pool. Last night, indeed, I did go to Burger Brazier. Apparently, and purportedly, it's the best burger in Vegas. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Its location is in the promenade in between Bally's and Paris, but it's literally just steps outside the Bally's entrance. Uh, it's the sports bar, lots of LCD, LED TVs everywhere, plus one huge one in the middle of the bar. So if you do wanna get a burger and watch a game, this is gonna be a great place for you. Okay, so let's talk burger. I had the champagne burger, and that is a burger with a fried egg and brie cheese. It was pretty unbelievable. I'm not gonna claim it's the best burger in Vegas, but I'm not gonna say it isn't. So if you're looking for a phenomenal burger, I would definitely recommend checking out Burger Brasier. Here's a fun fact, by the way. Actually, I don't know how fun it is. Uh, the burger was 20 bucks and no fries, just the plain burger. So you're gonna pay for the quality. Fries were an additional seven. So burger and fries, would be $27, that's pretty expensive. And then this morning I went down to the Bally's pool. I should hate it. The chairs were brutally uncomfortable. The scene was atrocious, it was really quite ugly. The bar was kind of ramshackle, no menu, really no food. All the drink machines were broken, but I liked it and here's why. Nobody goes to the Bally's pool and that's why you should go to the Bally's pool. It's unassuming, it was tranquil. I'm not calling it beautiful, but it was serene and it was tranquil. All adults, no kids, really laid back. The sun positioning was perfect. I got direct sun right away at 9 a.m. and there's sun right now I'm looking at the pool at 4 p.m. So sun all day, really peaceful, really tranquil. If you can get past its ugliness, and if you get past the ramshackle bar, you're gonna like it. And that brings me to right now, it's my last full day here at Bally's, actually just my last night here at Bally's, I'm gonna do something that I rarely do. In fact, I'm not sure I've done this on any video until right now. I'm gonna go check out the food court. That's right, I am going to check out the food court. And here's why I'm gonna do it. It's right on the way to the gym. So actually I'll probably go to the gym first and then check out the food court. But there are some cool options. There's a Nathan's hot dog and there's some other fast food stuff. And there was a lot of novel and eclectic stuff down there. There were a couple attractions. There was a mini golf. Uh, there was an arcade, there was a virtual reality center, there were a few stores. It was just like a really interesting place just to kind of look at, so I wanna walk down there and just kind of see what it's about. I might indulge in some fast food, that's something I rarely do, but I think it'd be good to bring some diversity to the channel, and then we'll see where I go from there.
Okay, so I just got back from the gym and Subway. I never thought I'd be talking about Subway on the channel, but here I am at Bally's Las Vegas discussing Subway. Has anyone been to Subway lately? Because it should be called Breadway, because it's pretty much all bread. Uh, the lady put on the original portion of meat, and I could pretty much see through it, it was paper thin. So I was like, okay, give me double meat. And she put on double meat, and it was still way too sparse. So I said, okay, let's do triple. And that wasn't good enough. So then I said, okay, let's do quadruple. I could have continued this exercise probably all the way up to 10 times. I mean, I was gonna go quintuple and sextuple, but I didn't want the order to take a half hour and the lady was getting kind of confused. So I just ended at quadruple meat and double cheese. It was a $22 fail. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get Subway again. I haven't been for a long time. It's not how I remember it as a kid, but maybe it's always been the same and maybe I've changed. Okay, so moving on to the gym. I liked it. Uh, there was purple gym equipment in there. I feel the world should have more purple gym equipment. It was small, but the property is small. So it was in proportion with the property. It was clean, nobody was in there. It was definitely a place to get a decent workout. The downstairs area here at Bally's is interesting. Like I said, it's kind of like a hodgepodge of everything. The sports book is really cool with the stadium seating and then there are stats everywhere and TVs everywhere. I mean, I know that sounds like every sports book, but I've been to pretty much almost every sports book here in Vegas, and this one was a standout. And in general, the downstairs area, I would describe as eclectic. As I mentioned earlier, there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of shopping. Um, there was an arcade, there was mini golf, there was bowling, pretty much video games everywhere, virtual reality uh, video games, temporary tattoos, t-shirt shops, hydro massage, oxygen bar, and then the food court. So it's just a mishmash, kind of a hodgepodge of everything. This is a really casual place, so if you're looking for a little casual entertainment or maybe a casual meal, head downstairs to Bally's and check out what they have to offer. I cannot end this trip on Subway. Just can't do it. We can do better than that. So I think tonight what I'm gonna do to put a capstone on this trip is I'm gonna head down and play some high stakes slots. And before I do that, I think I'm gonna head to the lobby bar, get a Modelo, head over to high stakes slots, donate some money to Caesars. I'll check in in the morning and let you know what I think about this property. I am so happy I went to Subway last night. If I would not have been disappointed by how terrible Subway was, I would not have got out of this room on my last night, strolled the high stakes slots, and won. I hit pay dirt, I finally won a thousand bucks, over a thousand dollars. I found a slot machine that spoke to me, Black Diamonds. I love Black Diamonds, I'm obsessed with them. And uh, there were actually three machines and I chose the one that stood out to me and wow, was it a standout. I actually won on a bonus game. I rarely have won on bonus games. I hit some bonus spins and all of a sudden it hit and the machine kept on counting and blinking and counting and blinking. And this continued for like one to two minutes and it hit like 300. Then it hit 500, then it hit 700 and it ended at over a thousand dollars. So that was basically my night. I did go to the lobby bar. It was really nice. It's by far the nicest bar here at Bally's. Uh, beautifully decorated, conveniently situated right by the lobby. It's, it was a great place to conveniently meet someone or just really get a drink at any time of the day in a nice, classy environment. So let's talk about the room and the property that kind of go hand in hand. The room was my favorite part of the property. Uh, the newly remodeled rooms are great. They're fresh, they're clean, they're vibrant. I like the reds. The bed was amazing. There's a ton of storage everywhere. I was able to really just organize and lay all my stuff out. Huge desk, huge counters in the bathroom. The bathroom with the his and hers and the dedicated makeup room and the shower and the tub. The room was just really well done. In terms of the property, I would categorize it as casual and chill. This is by far the chillest casino property I've been to. The pool was ultra chill, quiet and peaceful. The casino area, the gaming area is actually pretty quiet. There are a few restaurants here, but they're really low key. It's just a really casual and chill place to be. And that brings me into my rating of this hotel. Before I give it, I wanna tell you who this hotel is for. This hotel is actually for a lot of different people, surprisingly. This is a great Vegas starter hotel. So if you have never been to Vegas and you're looking to kind of dip your toe in the water, this is gonna be the hotel for you. It offers everything fundamentally that all the other larger properties have. They have a pool, they have all the type of gaming that you need, they have restaurants, they have bars, they have entertainment, just not to the scale and sometimes overwhelming amount 
that the monstrosity properties offer. Besides being a great starter hotel, it's also a great value hotel. Uh, this is the place you wanna be where if you don't wanna pay exorbitant prices for these other marquee properties, but you wanna be really close to them. This is right next to Paris. This is right across from Caesars, Cromwell. It's right in the heart of the Strip. So if you want a phenomenal room, okay, if you want a decent room, but you don't wanna pay an arm and a leg for it, this is gonna be the property for you. Lastly, and most specifically, this is gonna be the hotel for you if you like Paris. If you like Paris, but perhaps can't get a room there or you don't wanna pay the higher rates, just come to Bally's. It's connected, it's a two minute stroll over to that property. I think it's a better value. This is like the speakeasy Paris property. You should definitely check this out if you like Paris. So overall, Bally's is as advertised. What you see is what you're going to get. I knew coming in, this wasn't gonna be a high-end four-star hotel, certainly not a five-star hotel. It's one of the oldest properties on the Strip. Again, it's the original MGM Grand property. They remodeled the rooms, but if you're looking for that experience, um, all that grand entertainment, you're certainly gonna have to go elsewhere. But Bally's isn't advertising themselves as one of those kind of properties. What you see is what you get. I enjoyed my stay here, I really did. The hotel isn't going to wow you, but it's not designed to do that. Overall, I'm gonna give it a one, that's a pass. It's a solid pass. Again, it's as advertised, what you see is what you get.